Hey, what's up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a brow lamination, wax, and tint. If you're interested in that, just keep on watching. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to clean the brows and the surrounding area just to kind of prep for the following steps. Before I apply any product, I like to just brush the brows out. So the first product that I like to go in with is Tuya NYC Permanent Gel. This chemically softens the hairs by breaking down some of the cross links within the proteins of the hairs. This is so that the brow hairs can easily be brushed in a certain direction or style. And this stays on for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how the client's brow hairs are and how thick and resilient they may be. After applying the gel, I apply plastic wrap to trap the heat of the product to help it be processed faster. I like to check up on the hairs at the halfway point just to kind of see how they're doing and if I need to, I'll apply more product. And as you can see here, I am just moving the product around that's currently on the brows, combing it through, and then you'll see me applying a little bit more just to kind of add in to those sparser areas. And once the 10 to 15 minute timer is done, I will remove the plastic wrap and take a Q-tip and wipe away all the gel off to get ready for the next step. Next up, I'm going in with Tuya NYC Neutralizer Cream. This helps set the new shape by reinserting the cross-linking bonds. And again, adding the plastic wrap to trap the heat of the product and help it process a little bit faster. And just like the gel, I like to check up on the hairs at the halfway point, see how they're doing and apply more product if needed. And because this cream helps set the brows in place, I like to take this time and shape the brows to complement the client's facial features.
And once again, removing the plastic wrap once the timer is done and taking a Q-tip to remove any leftover product to prep for brow mapping. Now going in with a pre-inked string, I will quickly map out the brows just to have an idea of a client's correct brow shape just to wax and follow up with the tint. I honestly just love brow mapping before a brow wax just because it outlines any unwanted hair and I'm more sure of the hairs being removed because I have a visual of what the brows will be shaped like afterwards. I also go over the initial string lines if the mapping lines are too light or if a client's brow hairs overtake it, just so I'm not too confused on where to wax or apply the tint. Now to wax the brows, I'm going in with a soft wax for the brows, like I normally do, and the one that I'm using now is Satin Smooth Zinc Oxide. Just like hard wax, I apply it in the direction of the hair growth and remove the opposite direction and apply pressure after the removal. And if I need to, I'll go in with my tweezers and pick up the hairs that are left over. And now that the shape is there, I'll be using Brow Coat's tints in the shades Graphite and Natural Brown to add more definition to the brows. I like to apply the tint at the tails of the brows first, as all the clients prefer kind of like an ombre effect, where the front is light and it fades into a darker color at the ends. After applying the tint into the tails, I like to apply it to the bottom of the brows and work it upwards. As I touch up the brows right now, I do want to add that the darker the tint on the day of the appointment, the longer the tint will last. On camera, it may seem a bit dark, but typically the tint will fade within a day or two and may last up to four to six weeks. I leave the tint on for about 8 to 10 minutes depending on how light or how dark a client prefers their brows. Once it's time to remove the tint, I will start dabbing and wiping away the pigment starting at the front of the brows then making my way to the ends. Now that the excess tint is removed, I'm going in with Tuya's Regenerating Cream. This cream just seals the results and brings moisture back into the brow hairs and that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!